Human chimeras living among us, it's only science fiction for right now. Yesterday, the Senate passed the Endless Frontier Act, a bill that commits nearly $250 billion to promote emerging technologies so that America can keep pace with Chinese innovation. Back in May, Democrats shot down an important amendment outlawing U.S. participation in research that would create human-animal hybrids, also known as chimeras. China is already doing it, announcing in April that an international team successfully grew human monkey embryos and sustained them for 20 days in a lab. The only question is, what will they do next? Currently, the National Institutes of Health has banned U.S. funding for chimeric research. But that ban could very well be lifted. And who's to say that these agencies will play by the rules anyway? Chimeric research is a Pandora's box, that's obviously from hell, that should not be opened. But the scientific community, spurred on by their own hubris, may very well open it using American taxpayer dollars. And if that happens, the Democrats will have blood on their hands for not joining the GOP and stopping it when they had a chance. No, you don't have to talk about chimeras. Um, you are choosing to talk about chimeras. And Waz, did you notice that she actually said the practice is banned in the United States of America? But in her first segment, she said, why didn't the United States explicitly ban this in the legislation? Because Karen <laughs> is already banned. Why? Oh my goodness. Um, and you hit the you hit it the nail right on the head, brother. When you said you don't actually have to talk about this, right? We talked about the previous bill that would ban, you know, for all intents and purposes, mostly dark money in politics. You don't want to talk about that on Fox News. You don't want to talk about Joe Joe Biden's infrastructure bill that the Republicans refuse to vote on, a bill that would bring millions of well-paying jobs to Americans, both Democrat and Republican, all of far and wide from east to west. You don't want to talk about the merits of that bill and um, what Joe Biden wants to do for the American people as far as bringing them well-paying, sturdy jobs that would grant them dignified employment and not having to go work at places like Walmart or McDonald's where employees don't even want to pay you 15 bucks an hour. All right, so Melissa, your, your son is, uh, the father's black, you're white. And he'd never mentioned issues with race before, you're saying? What exactly changed? Right, we didn't have issues before. He's in eighth grade. They introduced this critical um, program, and now he's having racial issues that what, was not there before. What kind of racial issues is he having? Well, he's seen himself just as a black man. He's seen things that don't go his way as racism. Um, and he's finding safety in numbers now. So when you're saying he gets a bad grade at school, he blames racism or a girl rejects him on a date, racism. Are those the kind of things you're seeing? Yes, I ask him to clean the house, racism, yes. <laughs> you're kidding, right? Are you serious? <laughs> No, I'm serious. They have totally changed his perspective. They have put him in a box. What mother goes on national television to talk trash about her teenager? Okay. All right. Maybe he's not doing the chores. Okay. Possibly. But if you have a mother that will take the fact that you did not do your chores on Fox damn news, we got a problem. <laughs> we got a problem. All right, uh, what are your thoughts here, my man? Insane. Okay, now I'm laughing because it's ridiculous. This yeah. one I don't have to treat seriously. You <laughs> it's insane. Shooting in Illinois, indications are that Robert Cremo was a regular pot user. Now, one look at him and to the untrained eye, he looks like a complete psychotic. Have you ever seen anyone looking like him? And what can regular pot use trigger in young men in particular? Psychosis and other violent personality changes. Not everyone, but a significant percentage. Less than 1%, uh, but that's called a significant percentage. According to her, that's why she did not cite the percentage study. Uh, in addition to that, remember, none of these hosts have said one word about the fact that policies passed by state governments permitted this mass shooter and other mass shooters to purchase, obtain, and carry the firearm. Guns, 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 don't attack the culture. That's the line they have decided to take. They're not talking policy, they're talking rhetoric, but it's working to their audience. 